gladness. The caravan departs. Did the morning smile at you? Then be sure the day grows dark. For dawn only rose and brimmed into mockery. Like the wheel of heaven, those who are veiled from themselves are veiled by themselves. Heads spinning like proud galaxies. Rend the veil from the face of your existence. Free calamity. Drink the poison of death's hour. Win the sweet juice of the cup. The medicine for heart's pain and the death of your tarnished soul. Only this, a bit of poison. Silent and ocean, ocean deep. Do not strut the shore, showing off into banks of worthless reeds. The rooster of the cosmos arches wings till the heart becomes a bird of joy, beating pinions on the drum of wakefulness, drums of departing sounds for sleep's caravan. The moon raised by sorcery from a deep well, dawn, climbs from behind the wills, behind the hills, behind the wills, while the real moon herself lifts slowly from dawn's embrace like a fishtail swash. Lighting, lighting should play an important role on the language of birds. It has a metaphysical part to achieve. What is revealed by light is deemed to be truth. What resides in the dark is bound to mistake and falsehood. Between the idea and reality falls the shadows. What is written beneath the sun clock here in Oxford, I read into it yesterday, June 29th. Also, lightning has a psychological effect on both audience and performer. The piano should be well shown, well lit. It stands for the real object in the piece. The uh, intellect, the performer, doesn't scratch reality. He merely interprets it. He must touch it to play it. Naturally, the performer should have no problem reading the notebook. But it would be ideal if you would appeal, appear as veiled for the audience standpoint at first. See your own nature that is not more or less, not existing, and not existent in yourself. From within reality, take a look at contingent phenomena. They are without real existence. The essence 